Hello students, today we will discuss a small theory portion which is important for exam point of view also. That is difference between Butterworth and Chebyshev filters as well as difference between analog and digital filters. We have already covered up with what is Butterworth filter in example 1 which, which was given as assignment 1 also. Similarly, assignment 2 which discusses about Chebyshev filters also was covered. Today, we will discuss about difference between Butterworth and Chebyshev filters. You can see that first Butterworth filters are maximally flat pass band and stop band filters. They are maximally flat pass band and stop band filter. What is the meaning of this? They are having flat pass band and flat stop band. That's what is characteristic of Butterworth filters. What about Chebyshev filters? They are having ripples in pass band as well as in stop band. See, if you consider Chebyshev filter characteristic, there is a ripple here and then this. This is type 1. Type 2, if you see, no, there this will be flat, whereas here it will be ripple. But anyway, this is type 2. There is ripple in the pass band if you consider type 1 filter okay similarly in case of butterworth roll, roll down from pass band to stop band is not sharp what is the meaning of this this is not sharp there is a slope there is a slope here that's what happens in butterworth what about chebyshev filters chebyshev filters the roll down from pass band to stop band is very sharp here it is sharp that is the second difference the third difference is for a given specification Butterworth filter needs higher order. What is the meaning of this? Say you are given with something to resign. So for example Omega P, KP, Omega S, KS. All these four values are given. Suppose you designed a filter with Butterworth. Then N may come out to be 7. Now, same specifications are given. You are designing Chebyshev filter, say. In that case, N may turn out to be 4 or 5. 4 or 5. That means, the Chebyshev filters are coming out with less order. What is the advantage of having less order? Less hardware will be there. Understand? Less hardware will be there. Implementation becomes easy. For implementing n equal to 7, lot of registers, capacitors, etc. are required. Whereas, so as to implement n equal to 4, less resistance, capacitance, so op operational amplifiers are required. Hence, it is advantageous for us to design the filter with Chebyshev for a given specifications. Poles are positioned around a circle. Poles are positioned around a circle. What is the meaning of this? You already know that Butterworth filters, the poles are positioned around circle in HFS here the pole positions are present here the pole positions are present okay but what about the Chebyshev filters you know that in Chebyshev filters the poles are positioned around an ellipse around an ellipse that's what happens here S0, S1 etc the poles are positioned like this. This is circle, this is ellipse. That is the fourth difference. Now, fifth difference. The order changes the slope of the filter. Order changes the slope of the filter. See, the order changes the slope of the filter means, suppose you are having a second order filter. The slope will be something like this. Suppose you are having fourth order. The slope changes like this. Hence, in Butterworth filter, the order changes. As order increases, the sharpness increases. Here, in the case of 
Chebyshev filters what happens is as the order is changed the ripple changes here the ripple changes that is the difference butterworth filter there is only one type because butterworth means we call it as flat flat band filters we call it as flat band filters whereas chebyshev filters they can be type 1 and type 2 hence there are two types of uh, filters one is type 1 and another is type 2 in case of chebyshev whereas butterworth only one type we call it as butterworth filters or flat band filters there are no different types again in butterworth whereas chebyshev there is type 1 as well as type 2 this is the difference i hope you understood this is uh, important sometimes this questions is asked you have to write few or four five uh, differences between butterworth and chebyshev filters now let us go ahead with uh, the second the difference between analog and uh, digital filters difference between analog and chebyshev uh, analog and digital filters i will cover digital filters in detail but let us start with uh, the difference analog filters and digital filters see the first is it is implemented using resistance capacitance and op amps operational amplifiers in case of analog filters what about digital filters digital filters makes use of actually delay elements delay elements as well as memory and we need processes maybe dsp processors or microcontrollers whatever it is we are implementing it using these devices second difference second difference is these are less accurate analog filters are le less accurate these are less accurate these are less accurate analog filters are less accurate whereas accuracy is more accuracy is more they are better digital filters are better in terms of accuracy the third difference is tuning tuning is possible in case of digital whereas it is not possible in case of analog what is the meaning of tuning tuning means i want to change slightly different say you have designed it from for 100 hertz you want to change it for 200 hertz i want to change the values again changing value of resistance capacitance or the what type of op amp is required that is not possible whereas here it is easy what delay element they depends upon the coefficient just change the coefficient tuning is easy easy tuning okay the next is filter transfer function is hfs you already know that filter transfer function we find it as hfs in case of digital it is h of z we are finding out h of z because we are in digital domain z domain we are in analog domain h of s we are finding this is the fourth difference you know that the fifth difference is poles are positions on left half of h of s whereas here the pole positions are whereas in case of uh, digital filters they are in z domain and they are within the unit circle they are within the unit circle like this the poles are positioned where the poles are positioned on left half left half plane of h of s or h domain this is the fifth difference sixth difference is they don't analog filter don't show linear phase characteristic whereas digital filter show linear characteristic what is the meaning of this linear characteristic you see you have designed a filter okay you have designed a filter that filter characteristic will be there now suppose the phase output phase with respect to frequency if i draw a curve in case of phase angle output phase angle here you will get a linear phase as the frequency increases the phase also linearly changes linearly changes whereas here it is there is a non linear characteristic 
something like this. There is a non-linear characteristic in case of analog filters, whereas the phase characteristic is linear in case of digital. This is the sixth difference. This is the sixth difference. Okay, that's how you can understand that difference between analog and digital filters. Okay, in the next class or next tutorial video tutorial, I will start digital filters. I will start the digital filters. Uh, before that, I will be having bilinear transformation as well as impulse invariant transformation. Just I will brief and then we will go ahead with the digital uh, filter design concepts. Thank you.